WordPress 4.9.8 has just been released. And while I normally don't do briefings on these point releases, these minor updates, uh, this is one of those exceptions that we need to talk about. Oh, after you install this new version of WordPress, the first time you log in, you are going to be asked to make a decision on whether or not you want to test drive this new Gutenberg editor that you may have been hearing about. So I'm going to show you what this looks like and help guide you through making the right decision for your own website. The first time you log into WordPress after version 4.9.8 has been installed, you are going to see this box on top of your dashboard. And what it's doing is asking you if you would like to be a tester and install the new Gutenberg editor and have that experience, uh, or whether you want to install the classic editor, that's the editor you know and love, maybe, uh, in which case you would install that editor as the default, and that would prevent Gutenberg from being installed against your will. Uh, now, if you aren't sure what Gutenberg is, please see one of my previous videos. I've done several uh, explaining what Gutenberg is, why it is being uh, moved into WordPress as the default editor later this year. Uh, but also there have been some problems with theme compatibility. And so if you are adventurous, feel free to install the Gutenberg editor. Uh, if you are absolutely sure that your website will not break or you don't care whether or not your website breaks, then by all means, please install Gutenberg. If, however, you like stability and you don't want your website to break, you can install this classic editor. And doing that now will prevent the Gutenberg editor from becoming the default editor later this year when you upgrade to WordPress 5.0. There's no date on that yet, uh, but at some point it's going to happen. So taking care of it now really kind of gives you some peace of mind knowing that you won't be forced to uh, use Gert Gutenberg or to deal with an issue uh, with Gutenberg maybe being installed when you weren't looking. And then you have to figure out how to install the classic editor to uh, override that setting. So we'll take care of that now. Just click the button to install the classic editor. This is installing a plugin that you'll see listed under active plugins. You have to click the activate button too. And so now the classic editor is active on my website. If I go to installed plugins, you'll see it listed under the list of available plugins and it's active. And later on, if you decide you want to use Gutenberg after Gutenberg is released, you can always disable this plugin. Now, as I said, I don't want to discourage the use of Gutenberg, but you should be aware that things can go wrong. This is beta software, and your website is your website. You don't necessarily want to experiment on a live website, especially if it's important to you. So please proceed with caution when it comes to making this decision. And that is your WordPress 4.9.8 briefing. Updated tutorials on all of the latest changes are available in the WordPress Essentials course at WPApprentice.com. WordPress Essentials is the best way to stay current with the rapidly changing world of WordPress. Membership includes lifetime access to the WordPress Essentials course videos, which are, of course, updated for each new version of WordPress. Sign up at WP Apprentice today, and we'll see you inside the member area.